some oak flooring, build a seating and sleeping area, and install some beautiful wooden beams. But will it all go to plan? Possibly go wrong here. So before we get started on building the kitchen, I'm going to be painting the van walls. We've gone for something a little bit different, experimental in this van, rather than going for like cladding or something we usually do. Hence why we've put the plywood walls in and I'm going to be whitewashing them with lime wash. Lime wash is something you'd normally see in like old Italian buildings, it's got that kind of watercolory texture but it's also used on old English buildings, mainly on the outside of like stone and masonry. So I'm going to be applying it to plywood, which is a little bit different. There's uh, a few advantages to lime wash over normal paint, mainly it's a much more natural, sustainable alternative because it doesn't contain petrochemicals. Best of all, this lime wash actually comes from Bodmin in Cornwall, so it's really local. And when it's all applied, it's also breathable. It inhales moisture and then it exhales it. So I think that makes it really good for using in a van. For the record, it's really not good for using in a van, but we'll tell you more about that later. I've been advised by the guys at Cornish Lime to first prime the plywood walls with a mix of PVA and water. This is to give the lime wash something to stick to. Rather than going on the surface of it like normal paint, it actually absorbs into it. As you can see behind me, I've applied a first coat behind me uh, to the PVA treated ply. The first coat is always meant to look a little bit rough, but when the second coat goes on, it will help smooth out those edges. And that's what I really like about the effect. You get this brush strokey effect, this texture. It's not just a plain white wall, it's gonna be quite a statement, I think. So yeah, I'm just gonna get started. I'm gonna be painting all of the walls and the roof today and showing you all how it's done. finished, for now at least, we were ready to tackle the flooring. To start, we cut and measured the batten for the bases of the seating area and kitchen. Before long, it was time to attach the base batten to the floor of the van. With the base pattern laid, we began by rolling out underlay before finally laying our beautiful solid oak flooring. So we're nearly finished with the seating slash bed area. 
As you can see, we built them out of two by two, really, really solid because we're hoping to have families stay here. Families mean children, children means excitement, and lots and lots of jumping around, which we didn't really want to end up with breakages. So they are nice and solid. I've actually stood on these and jumped on them myself. If I can do it, I'm sure a small child can do it fine. So yeah, two by two, all round, really, really solid. tops for them, they're on hinges and basically this side is going to have all the bedding, the duvets, pillows and all that sort of stuff in there. This side in front of me is going to have the batteries and all the electrics and all the wiring basically for the whole van so that's kind of sorted out. I'm going to drill some holes in here, finger holes to help sort of lift them out really much easier than what they are now. Lucy has done an absolutely fantastic job on all this white cladding here. We really weren't sure how to cover them, but we just sort of set up the cladding and it looks really good. She's done a great job. Finished it off with this nice lip here and a little bit of corking. It's a really good way to kind of hide my bad woodwork skills. So any little gaps that didn't quite meet up, use the white corking, perfect, you'll never know. It's looking really good. The next stage is gonna be building the table slash sort of the middle of the bed. So it needs to be able to sit up here for a table and down here for the bed area. I bought this thing here, which is gonna be the sort of table leg and you just kind of somehow so yeah, it's going to be able to come up to here and then down to here for the bed area. That's the plan. We've just got to work out what we're going to actually use for the tabletop because we don't have any wood like that sort of hanging around, to my knowledge. But we want something kind of quirky, don't we, I think? Like a bit, you know, of a sort of standout feature. Something with a bit of character. Have you got any ideas? Well, we could have a dig through the garage. There's all sorts of wonderful things in there. Oh, yeah, yeah. You never know what we might find. Yeah, yeah, that's a good shout. Well. We've got nothing else in at the minute, so shall we go and have a look? Let's see what we can find? Yeah. Cool, let's do it. Welcome to the worst garage in the world. Where do we begin? <laughs> Table. Is it? Actually, that my mum gave me. God knows why, because we live in a van. <laughs> she gave us this massive table. Yeah, actually. Look at that. Oh. That could work nicely, you know. You know what? I think we could do something really nice with that. Okay. Wow. Let's see the front. It's like parquet style, look. Wow. It's actually really nice, it's got good texture. Is that oak? Alright, shall we get it out and have a look? <sighs> yeah. When you say let's get it out, do you mean you get it out? <laughs> yeah. oh, Jesus Christ. What could possibly go wrong here?
beautiful reclaimed rustic wooden table in the van and it looks amazing. I couldn't be happier with it, especially the way we've managed to resize it from a giant dining table down to this little square thing to fit in the van. The only problem, well, a few problems we got with it, it doesn't fit between the bench seats to create the middle part of the bed. So we're looking at either chopping off about two inches either side of it, which I'm not too keen on because it would ruin the lovely squareness of the table, or perhaps adding extra cushions here to compensate for the different levels, or even cutting an inch off the memory foam cushions that are gonna go in the middle to create that kind of level. We're still playing with ideas for that. We've also got a little bit of an issue with our table leg because it's not hydraulic or anything, it's purely manual. Every time you uh, release the, the windy thing? I don't know what that's called. Knob. Every time you release it, the table drops straight down because of the weight of it. It weighs about 20 kilos at the minute. That's not going to be very good for someone who's trying to lower and lift the table every time they want to make the bed or make the seating area. So we're going to have a little play with that as well. Some gas struts, some hydraulics, maybe some electrics, who knows. And I think we're going to have to reduce the weight of this table by half if possible. Because it's a very heavy old thing, but we can do this by removing parts of the frame underneath. Hopefully that will reduce the weight enough that it's not going to crush someone when they try and make it into a bed. taking a little break from working on the table while we try and iron out a few of the kinks in the design. But in the meantime we've got something really exciting that we want to show you guys. It's going to be a beautiful little extra design feature in the van and we think it's going to make it really unique. So here we have some nice beautiful beams that have been handmade nearby to us and we saw these on Facebook Marketplace and we thought we had to have them. They're really going to fit this kind of farmhouse rustic kind of wooden vibe that we're going for in the van it's going to be a real nice addition so we bought these recently i've cut them down to the right lengths that they are going to be in the van lucy's done a really good job varnishing them they already came varnished but we thought they need to be a little bit darker to fit our kind of theme so all i've got to do now is just plane down the edges because they're a little bit rough and a little bit with exposed wood still and then we're going to fit them in to the roof and i'll show you how we're going to do that once i've finished planing them Okay, so the final stage is to mount the beams onto the roof. Now I have a little confession, we've had a bit of trouble with this. Last night we eventually gave in and asked my dad for some help and we have already put up four beams in the van so we're quite well versed in it now. What we've been using is these little self-tapping bolt head screws. These are our favourite things for van construction. They're just super useful and they can drill themselves through any kind of metal or wood which makes it much easier when you don't need to pilot hole them. Now with the beams they did come with countersunk holes in the bottoms of them for screwing upwards. Unfortunately, because we've got no aluminium box section on the roof here, there's nothing to attach the beam to this way. So for this one, I'm going to be attaching it to the wall instead by drilling through the front of the beam. start of this video when I was talking about how good lime wash would be for use in a van. Well, it turns out it wasn't. As you can see behind me, this isn't lime wash anymore, it's just regular emulsion. As much as I really wanted to kind of stick it out with my beloved lime wash technique, it just wasn't made to be. It's not so much the actual lime wash itself, more the material I was putting it onto. It's not really made for plywood, even with the extra layer of PVA put on underneath. And also because of the various textures, it just sort of works better on a larger scale. In a small space, it ended up looking quite busy. Probably better as like a feature wall, not as an entire thing. And honestly, the amount of time and labor that goes into it, doing five, even six coats on each surface, it's not really worth it in the end. So we've gone for just a really nice earthy tone sort of emulsion, which kind of offsets everything else in the van much nicer. So as you can see, we're back in the seating area and we've got our lovely cushions back from the embroiderer's shop. 
and aren't they just looking fantastic? They are gorgeous, they're everything we wanted out of the sort of colour scheme for this van. Yeah, they arrived today and we couldn't be happier with them. And as you can also notice, we've managed to fix the table. But you may see that I've not got much leg room between the cushion and the table, so we're going to have to work on that. A little bit of a design flaw. We've nearly cracked it, we've nearly cracked it, but honestly, like, this is just a little bit too uncomfortable in my legs. I'm going to end up losing circulation to my legs in a minute if I stay here for too long, which isn't good. So we'll have to address that at a later date, but we're so close now. This seating area, bed area, is basically as we want it now. Just about there. So it's got this beautiful beam here as well, which is kind of a separation and a bit of a step to get into the sort of bed area up here, which we're going to be working on probably in the next video, actually, real soon. So we've done all the beams all the way through the van. They're all in, they're looking really lovely. Lucy's been around the edges and put this wonderful scotia in, which kind of just finishes it off really nicely. It gets rid of all those edges that weren't quite perfect. We weren't quite happy with, so yeah, you've been busy doing that. Gives it a really nice farmhousey feel as well, it just makes it a bit cosier and less kind of bare, doesn't it? Definitely, yeah. So like, we're nearly, we're nearly done. I mean, yeah. this van is coming along so quick now. In the next video, we're going to be talking to you about the kitchen. Not just talking to you, actually. We're going to be building the kitchen. We're going to be installing the hob, the oven, the sink, all of the fun stuff that we've been saving up just like in anticipation, really excited to show you guys. So Possibly the best bit about a van next. build is doing yeah, the kitchen, isn't it? Yeah. It's my favourite bit anyway. Definitely. I mean, I love cooking, as you can probably tell. It's my absolute passion. So, yeah, super excited to get on with that. So I think we're about done for this video, right? I think so. Yeah. yeah. Something else, actually, we're going to do in the next video. We're going to be fixing these frames up as well, making these look a bit nice. So you've got a few ideas for that, but we're not going to let you in on that just yet. We've got to keep some things a bit of a... Bit of a surprise, haven't we? It's all about the details. Definitely. So yeah, really hope you've enjoyed this video as much as we've enjoyed making it and building it. And we'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye.